All right. <clears throat> so this little piece here just wasn't quite long enough, just by barely. Uh, so I just picked up a piece of scrap. You can see here, it's pretty rusty. I'm gonna have to clean it up, but it's all I have left. Um, so yeah, just tape this down. I'm gonna uh, pencil that out real quick and then cut it out. So um, I'll bring you back once I get this all cut out and everything like it needs to be. See ya. All right, there's that cut out. Um, just use these and that. Um, so now I need to clean this up before I start bending it because it'll be harder to clean if I don't. And then I'll have to rescribe these or redo these lines to bend it all up. So, but I should have thought of that. I should have went ahead and cleaned the metal first, but I didn't. So I'm going to do that now. All right, just a little point of information. I went ahead and hit this with 180. First of all, I cleaned it. Let, let me just take you through it. First, I cleaned it with this. Got all the rust off of it. it does a really good job. Then I hit it with the DA with uh, with 180. Now, uh, I could go back and sandblast it to give it a good tooth, or you can use 80 on a DA. What I'm gonna do is use this little guy, it's a direct drive, and it's got 80, 80 grit on the uh, on it, and that'll give it a really good tooth. That'll give it that tooth right there. I want this to hold, I want this epoxy to just grip and grab and never come off. So I'm gonna go a little more aggressive. And again, you don't see that it's inside, so I want it to really, really grip and, and get a good tooth on that. So uh, sandblasting will work too. They say you gotta be careful because you can warp the metal, but man, I think you'd have to really, I don't know, I'm not gonna say shit. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna go over this real quick with that and uh, uh, bring you back when I start bending on it. All right, that's the tooth I was after. Um, Got it all cleaned up, and now I'll go ahead and uh, rescribe my or uh, rerun my lines for my bends, and uh, and we'll get to bending. All right, see you guys. All right, it kind of made me a little break here. Um, all I did is took took this. You can see I sharpened this edge. That way, it'll have a real crisp edge right there when I break it up. But basically, I'll just clamp this on between here. Then I'm going to sandwich me a couple of these on the outside of this and then maybe take a couple of these and actually use it as a brake handle to go up. Uh, that's basically all I can come up with at this point to, to do that. Normally, if I don't care about a piece too much, which this piece is going to be inside, uh, I'll just stick this in my vise and uh, take a hammer and, and my flat. Um, I don't know where I went, but the spoon and basically bend this up. But the problem with that is it won't make a really crisp edge like I like to have on this so I went ahead and just kind of fabricated me up a little quick uh, deal that hopefully it'll work so uh, yeah I'll get this set up and uh, we'll see how it works out all right gonna bend this up Let's see how it works Let's see how I plant this I'm just gonna use these as my handles to pull up uh, you just use what you have basically right dude that's what I do I'm not gonna go out and buy a sheet break for just a few pieces that I make here and there but I'd like to have one that would wrong be nice um, so yeah we're just gonna go up we talked about this part is a little bit past uh, a little bit farther past I'm gonna go try to go a little farther if I can and hopefully it doesn't run into this because I'll figure it out as I go in fact, I may just try to move that up over out of the way a little bit more. Let's see how that works. So yeah, I got a piece of steel underneath and a piece of steel on the bottom. I, I left a little bit of a gap in here and I ground that back where I could try to go a little bit past. I probably should have ground this edge down and then it would have probably worked better. And I may have to do that, I don't know. Yeah, I am going to have to do that probably, because this is going to end up running into it.
Okay. Looks like it's a little bit past. We'll see how that works out. probably ground that sharp edge on this too and that would have took care of that a little better. Uh, but I can straighten that out and make that work fine. Tabs in the insides here, and that does go. Let me check that. Yeah, those do go inside. So, got this clamp down, just gonna try to bend this with this.
Thanks, Avery. All right, I'm going to do a little fine tuning on this now. Get these edges a little bit more crisp. Flattened out. Like I said, I made that. I should have uh, chamfered off that other edge. Break this a little crisper. All right, there it is. Kind of give you a little idea out in the sunlight how it looks. It's just a brace. I mean, no, no biggie, no biggie at all. But um, yeah, just just show you. You can do this stuff at home with just a few hand tools. Um, you know, they wanted a hundred dollars for a set of braces like that. Um, so, I mean, if you're strapped on money and you decide something you want to do, this is, you know, $2 worth of freaking sheet metal, maybe. Uh, that was that piece of crap that I had, that I showed earlier in the video. I just cleaned it up. And so, uh, yeah. We like shiny stuff, don't we? So, let's try this. Let's see what we got. Put my deals back on. It'll start bending the same way, it'll start bending it up. Now it's going to fight more because it's got this in it. It's also going to make that have this contour. Okay, so it's, it's bending it. See that? That's the way to do it with a hammer. <clears throat> Alright, get that rocker back off to check the fitment. And uh, it looks pretty good. I still got to make my little relief cut in here, like that one, for the water to drain out this little channel. But uh, yeah, that squeeze down in there pretty good. Looks like it's about right in the channel where it needs to be right there. And uh, of course that'll pull down a little bit or this will squeeze up on the other. But yeah, not too bad. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna end it on that one. And uh, like I said, I hope you guys uh, are enjoying this. I just, just uh, just tedious little, you know, work, but it's part of the fun, I guess. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.